In this video, I will share with you how I made my 24K salary in 2018 work for me. If you followed my story now for a while, you will notice that I always share every stage that I'm in on my journey. And this is very important to me because that way we're really able to measure growth, what we've done, where we are at the moment, and some of the milestones we've reached. In 2018, when I returned to my corporate job, I only earned 24,000 euros. It's crazy. But I've said it so many times on so many videos. And today I wanted to share with you how I was able to effectively manage my 24K salary in 2018. By the grace of God, that salary has changed. And if you want, I can make a video on my current income, how I manage that. What I did to move from that level of income to where we currently are at the moment. So I only earned 24,000 euros. And I think this has a lot to do with me being out of employment, taking a long career break, and then going back into corporate employment. The long career break I took was for about six to seven years. In that six to seven years, I did other things, but I wasn't working in a corporate setting. And you know what that can do to your income, to your skill set, to your experience level. It actually makes you stale in the marketplace. Employers see you as someone who has lost their skills and experience, but it wasn't until so long before I started any much more than that. In fact, in less than two years, I doubled that salary. In 2018, cost of living crisis that we are currently facing at the moment wasn't a thing. So it was still fine being on that salary. So my 24K salary will go through taxes. So at the time, because of the low income, I was only taxed 20% of my salary. In that salary also, I would pay into my pension, which also reduced my taxes. Number three thing is I paid the mandatory universal social charge, which also was processed by my employer. The last thing I paid from that is the PRSI. So my take home pay at the time was about 1,680, which is, was a very low income. But even at that particular point in time, I basically still had a good savings portfolio. How I spent my 24K salary at the time, it was so easy to do because it wasn't a lot of money. So the small breakdown is I will pay about 10% of that salary into my personal savings account, which was about 168 euros small for savings but is better than not saving at all so i then give about 10 percent away of that salary into my giving this was about another 168 because as a person of faith i believed in giving and i gave that particular amount every month out of my very low salary i put about 50 percent into our day-to-day -day expenses, which would be electricity, gas, uh, utility in the house. 50% of that amount at the time is about 840 euros. Right? I didn't have to pay the huge chunk going into housing because my husband paid that um, in full and paid other expenses as well. Then I spent about 200 euros on transportation. Remember it was 2018 when we couldn't walk remotely. So I used to spend 50 euros thereabout on petrol every week. Finally, I have about 114 euros left. So my 114 euros would be every other thing that I need as an individual. Basically, that was how I managed my 24K salary at the time. But the good news is I had other sources of income also at the time. Remember I shared with you that I'd taken some time off work, do my own thing, 
which I started out through making YouTube videos like this. Some of you may remember it was a long time ago. And um, also I had a blog. So on the blogging side of things, I used to write content for brands from different parts of the world. I would get paid 50 euros here, 100 euros there, 200 euros there. I was basically using some of the skills that I've gained to actually also earn an income at the time. So majority of the income I earned mostly went into savings for future projects. So basically I had a low salary, but I had other sources of income. It was at the time that people started reaching out to me to help support them with coaching. I was doing administration. It was just a fantastic time for me to leverage working in corporate organization and also making additional income. So if you don't take anything away from this video, a couple of things to, to take away would be number one, ensure that you have other sources of income if you earn really low have other sources of income it could be the skill that you use in your current job for example i work in hr is it possible for you to do hr consultancy privately for people who need your service be sure that you are self-declaring your own taxes as a, a sole trader where it is applicable number two is ensure that irrespective of how low your salary is you must learn to put money away one life lesson i learned from my mother would be if you earn 100 euros and you can't save 10 euros when you start earning 1000 euros it will be really hard for you to save 100 euros so ensure to build the habit of saving number three is for you to know your math do your math know the breakdown know exactly what is coming in know exactly what your needs are for your family and your lifestyle and break it down for example 100 euros to go into your savings in my own case it was 168 at the time my giving was about 168 as well so i basically know my figures where all my money is going to remember i used to just write it on my mobile phone how much I spent on this, how much I spent on that before I embraced the ideal of spreadsheets. So know your figures. If there's any other tip you should take away here, know that nothing remains permanent forever. Like I said, it was in 2018 that I was any that crappy salary. That has since changed and it changed through the power of continuous development and also job upping. So when I was paying for my CIPD at the time, the huge chunk that used to go into my home expenses now went into my CIPD. If you want to see the video of my CIPD, how I did my CIPD, how I paid for my CIPD, you can check somewhere here on my channel. I'll link that video there for you. That is how I managed my 24k salary in 2018. So I hope you found this video helpful and many of you are actually very uh, keen to see how I manage my family finances. This is just one of the series I will share on how I manage my finances. Please stay tuned by subscribing to my YouTube channel where I will share additional videos with you. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go on and click the subscribe button and stay connected for more meaningful videos like this. Again, I want to thank you so very much for watching this video today. I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.